Hello, May Flom here, and I'm excited to share a really fun scan and cut tutorial with you here today. So I embroidered onto some felt, and I wanted to make myself a new embroidery scissors pouch. So as you can see here, I have my felt and it's embroidered. That part's totally optional. You could use fabric for this. You could use plain felt. You could use hand embroidered, whatever you would like. That just happens to be some machine embroidered felt that I have there. So to get started, we're going to put this onto a standard mat. Then we're going to go into our scan and cut and select our pattern. Now what I am going to do is actually select two different patterns because I'm not sure if I want an actual leaf or there's also a basic shape that is leaf-like, or at least that kind of a shape that I think would look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick both of them, and I'm sizing them both to approximately the size I think I want for my embroidery scissors pouch. And once I have done this, I'm gonna go ahead and press to scan. And you can see I'm kind of moving this one around here. I just want it to be in an approximate position that I want it. And once I'm good and I'm ready for the next step though, I'm gonna go ahead and press to scan. So the machine will scan in my, my material, my felt, and it's going to show me where my embroidered flower is so that I can know exactly how big, exactly where to position for the best optimal cut, how to rotate, all of that good stuff. Now, as I'm putting these both on, I see that the actual leaf, I just don't like it as much. So I'm gonna go in to, actually I passed it there, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So we can always delete things we decide we don't want. And then I'm going to work on rotating this as well as sizing it. And remember that if you push that up, down, sideways button, you can size independently the height and the width, you don't just have to size both of them together all the time. So you can change how that goes. With that done, we're going to make a second one because I want this to be a pouch. And again, if there's any last minute alterations, you can keep editing as much as you like. Having that scanner in there certainly is a great feature to help me get the most out of my material. And once we're ready, we just cut and the machine will cut. For this felt, it was thick enough that it took two passes, it has an auto blade, so I don't need to do anything about that. Then we're on to a little bit of sewing. This could be by hand or machine. I'm just adding some stitching around the part that's going to be open so that the entire pouch is going to have some stitching around it. Then I put the two pieces together back in the machine and I stitched around twice just to keep it nice and secure being careful to not stitch it completely shut, leaving that little section of opening. Then scissors in, but I decided I wanted to hang this. So I put a loop of ribbon and a little button and with some thread, I'm just going to secure that button and loop of ribbon at the top so that I can actually hang this from a peg on my thread spool um, rack, which I think is gonna be really nice. And now I'm always gonna know where my scissors are and this was such a fun, quick, and easy project. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial.